वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स द पार्ट वन मोशन इन ए प्लेन वी डिस्कस स्केल आर वेटर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ वेटर्स वी डिस्कस एंड डायरेक्शनल कोजेंस आल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड ओके इन दिस पार्ट टू मोशन इन ए प्लेन वील डिस्कस अबाउट द सप्रैक्शन एंड एडिशन रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ वेटर्स एंड पैरलोग्राम ला रिजल्टेंट डायरेक्शन रिलेटेड न्यूमेरिकल्स आल्सो वील डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट हियर द एडिशन ऑफ वेटर्स ओके एंड एडिशन ऑफ वेटर्स फॉर एग्जांपल a vector p bar is there a vector p bar and another vector q bar two vectors are there p bar vector and q bar vector okay here the resultant of these two vectors p bar and q bar resultant of two vectors passing through the same point wherever the p vector and q vectors are started the resultant started from same point okay that point i am taking o the resultant vector i am taking r bar i am taking resultant vector so we know that so we are adding these two vectors r bar equal to what p bar plus r bar equal to what p bar plus q bar r bar equal to p bar plus q bar here the angle between p bar and q bar these two vectors angle is how much theta and the resultant with the p vector the resultant with p vector you say alpha the direction of the resultant you say alpha and angle between p bar and q bar say theta so then what happens here so here what i am doing so here the resultant of these two vectors if i join these two vectors okay if i join these two vector and this resultant is extended and this also extended another q vector from q vector and this okay so this point i am saying oa point i am taking this is ob point i am taking okay so vector p bar i am taking ob and vector q bar i am taking oa vector i am taking so this oa vector means okay and this point i am taking c point oa vector is equal to the bc vector so that is why i am taking here also q only i am taking here so what i am doing from c vector so one perpendicular line i am taking and this line is extending this point you say d okay here the a o d okay a o b and c a d like similar triangle so whatever the angle here theta so here c b d also theta same only so then after solving this okay resultant will get so what is the resultant of this parallelogram la so here resultant will get r equal to under root what will get p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta the resultant of this okay parallelogram so we get r equal to under root p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta at the same time direction okay the direction means this alpha c o d this angle so alpha the direction so direction alpha that in tan function tan alpha equal to tan alpha equal to what is the direction formula q sin theta by p plus q cos theta so this is the direction of the resultant direction of the resultant alpha tan alpha equal to q sin theta by p plus q cos theta will get okay so you know that this is these are the parallelogram la resultant and directional formulas okay so now in the competitive examination direct to problems okay using these formulas shortcut methods okay how to solve how to remember the short methods okay so short formulas how to remember so clearly i'll explain on this okay resultant and magnitude of the direction we'll observe here for example so they mention so the two vectors are p bar and q bar two vectors are parallel means theta is how much 
case one I am taking. So what is the case one? Okay, case one I am taking. So what is the case one? Case one. Okay. So what is the case one? If two vectors are parallel, if two vectors are p bar and q bar, vectors in parallel. Parallel means the two vectors here, p bar vector at the same time, q bar vector, both are in same direction. p bar vector, q bar vector, both are in same direction. So that meaning is what? Theta is how much? 0 degrees theta 0 degrees so that time what happens direction what happens okay so that time direction what happens we'll observe okay here resultant and directions what happen here theta values substitute 0 these are the main formulas for resultant and direction purpose substitute, substitute that theta equal to 0 value so what happens r equal to okay here theta i'm substituting R equal to what happens under root P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos 0 cos 0 degrees. So this 0 degrees I substituted in the formula here cos 0 value. So we know that cos 0 value 1. So 1 into this something is what 1 into this 2 P Q is 2 P Q only P square plus Q square plus 2pq this cos 0 value is how much 1 so that time what happened resultant r equal to p plus q whole square okay under root here yeah, square root cancel therefore resultant formula is what p plus q in parallelogram okay the addition of vectors if two vectors are in parallel so that time the resultant formula directly you can remember we should add the magnitude of magnitudes of the two vectors r equal to what p plus q then we'll see direction direction what happens okay tan alpha equal to what tan alpha equal to what q sin theta by p plus q cos theta q into sin 0 degrees by p plus q cos 0 degrees okay tan alpha equal to q into sin 0 value is how much 0 only by p plus q cos 0 degrees okay here 0 into something is what 0 only okay 0 by something is what 0 only okay so tan alpha equal to 0 in tan function 0 when we'll get so for 0 degrees only we will get therefore alpha equal to how much 0 alpha value how much 0 so there is no direction alpha value 0 for when it is when two vectors are in parallel okay when two vectors are parallel time this is these are the cases okay next uh, next case 2 okay if two vectors are if two vectors perpendicular okay so perpendicular direction two vectors are perpendicular so that meaning is what theta equal to how much 90 degrees theta equal to 90 degrees okay then what to do resultant first we will find the resultant resultant r equal to okay resultant r equal to what is the formula p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos 90 degrees okay cos 90 value you know that cos 90 value is 0 so p square plus q square plus 2 p q into 0 so here this part becomes one under root p square plus q square into okay this zero into something is what zero only therefore resultant r equal to one p square plus q square resultant r equal to p square plus q square now direction so what happened direction 
okay direction if we observe tan alpha equal to okay what is the formula direction purpose tan alpha equal to q sin theta so theta means what 90 degrees i am taking q sin 90 by p plus q cos 90 degrees okay so tan alpha equal to q into sin 90 value is how much 1 and p plus q cos 90 cos 90 value is how much 0 so here tan alpha equal to here q by p plus 0 that is p so therefore alpha equal to what happens tan inverse of q by p tan inverse of how much q by p and the resultant is under root p square plus q square and direction is what tan inverse of q by p if in this sub case if p is equal to q two vectors are equal magnitudes what happens we'll see here only if p equal to q both are equal magnitudes what happens the time resultant r equal to p square plus q also what p only p square plus p square that is under root 2 p square okay resultant r equal to what root 2 into this p i am writing outside root 2 p okay direction alpha equal to what i said tan inverse of q by p okay tan inverse of q is what p only p is p only as it is p p gets cancelled alpha equal to tan inverse of 1 okay alpha equal to tan inverse of 1 means how many degrees when we will get one value in tan function at 45 degrees therefore alpha is how much 45 degrees when two vectors right angles to each other okay 90 degrees both are 90 degrees so the time the direction is 45 degrees resultant of the direction is how much 45 degrees and resultant is of the magnitude is how much root to p okay in case 3 if two vectors are anti parallel means opposite direction okay if two vectors in opposite direction that meaning is what theta value how much 180 degrees the two vectors are in opposite direction we are taking this p bar vector and q bar vector okay so the angle between them is how much 180 degrees angle between them 180 degrees okay now here resultant r equal to under root resultant r equal to under root what to take p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos 180 degrees cos 180 degrees okay here cos 180 value is how much cos 180 is what minus 1 therefore resultant r equal to under root p square plus q square plus 2 p q okay so 2 p q cos 180 is how much minus 1 here minus into plus minus resultant r equal to under root p square plus q square minus 2 p q minus 2 p q so we can write this one r equal to under root p minus q whole square okay p minus q whole square your yeah, square root cancel what happens the time resultant r equal to p minus q so when two vectors are in opposite direction so therefore resultant of the magnitude of the resultant is how much the difference of the two vectors p minus q direction what happens we'll see okay direction purpose formula is one tan alpha equal to q sin theta by your q sin 180 degrees by p plus q cos 180 degrees okay here tan alpha equal to 
tan alpha equal to q sin 180 value zero only sin zero and sin 180 zero only okay so here whatever zero in by something is what zero only okay zero by something is what zero only tan alpha equal to zero that means alpha is what zero so direction also the resultant the direction also zero only okay so next case okay next case if you observe in case four okay if two vectors are having same magnitude what are the resultant and direction if two vectors okay having same magnitudes having same magnitudes okay the meaning is one p equal to q in direction also resultant also we have to substitute first in resultant i am substituting okay p equal to under root p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta so this is our original formula here our case is what both are having same magnitudes p equal to q r equal to under root here p square plus q also what p only p square plus 2 p q 2 p q cos theta now p square here q also what p only okay resultant r equal to under root p square plus p square 2 p square plus here 2 p square cos theta here we can take common 2 p square we can take common 2 p square we can take common what happened 1 plus cos theta 1 plus cos theta here r equal to under root 2 p square 1 plus cos theta we know that 2 cos square theta by 2 1 plus cos theta formula is what 2 cos square theta by 2 now r equal to okay so this 2 into 2 so there is 4 root 4 is what 2 under root of p square is what outside p under root cos square theta by 2 is what outside cos theta by 2 so therefore what is the formula 2p cos theta by 2 2p cos theta by 2 next direction direction purpose okay so what is the formula direction formula is what tan alpha equal to direction formula is what tan alpha equal to q sin theta by p plus q cos theta here tan alpha equal to q q also what p only sin theta by p plus here q also what p only p i am taking common 1 plus cos theta here q also what p only p i am taking common 1 plus cos theta p p cancel tan alpha equal to here sin theta sin theta formula i am writing like this 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 by 1 plus cos theta formula is what 2 cos square theta by 2 2 cos square theta by 2 2 2 gets cancel cos okay in cos square theta by 2 1 cos theta by 2 gets cancel remaining is what sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 here that is tan alpha equal to here tan alpha equal to sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 is what tan theta by 2 okay sin by cos is what tan the both the sides tan tan gets cancelled therefore alpha equal to what theta by 2 so when both the magnitudes are same if they mention the resultant formula directly we can take no need to solve this total okay directly you can remember shortcut methods what is the formula 2p cos theta by 2 
and alpha equal to what direction equal to what theta by 2 here the two vectors okay a bar and b bar that is p bar and q bar vectors are given okay so here if they ask question like this the unit vector parallel to the resultant of p bar plus q bar so that i am that unit vector how to find p bar plus q bar addition of the two vectors by that addition magnitude we have to find out okay the ratio of addition of the two vectors to the magnitude of that addition of the vectors okay so like that questions previous questions also they asked in neat and je and m set also okay so now we'll discuss okay one problem here on the display you can observe one question the given okay if vectors a bar and b bar 3i bar minus 4j bar plus 5k bar so two vectors are given okay example one problem 3i bar minus 4j bar plus 5k bar is given okay another vector 2i bar plus 3j bar plus 3j bar minus 4k bar minus 4k bar given okay what they are asking find the unit vector parallel to a bar plus b bar parallel to a bar plus b bar they are asking okay so just now we discuss the unit vector parallel to the resultant of p bar plus q bar is what p bar plus q bar by mod of p bar plus q bar so now what to do here two vectors are given first vector you say p bar second vector you say q bar okay so then addition by magnitude first we will find the p bar plus q bar will find p bar plus q bar okay here how to find the p bar plus q bar just you add the two vectors 3i bar minus 4j bar plus 5k bar okay and 2i bar plus 3j bar minus 4k bar okay here p bar plus q bar is equal to so add the similar components here 3i bar is there here 2i bar is there total how much 5i bar here minus 4j here plus j how much minus j bar minus 4 plus 3 minus j bar plus 5 minus 4k how much just a k bar so this is the p bar plus q bar we got now you substitute in the formula n cap equal to what is the formula p bar plus q bar by mod of p bar plus q bar substitute in the in this formula so just now we calculated addition how much phi i bar minus j bar plus k bar by okay find magnitude magnitude how to find the previous last part one we observed okay we discussed detailly the magnitude of the vectors okay so if you miss that class please watch the part one so you can understand clearly this one here magnitude how to find the components whole square phi square okay here magnitude no? plus immediately minus one whole square plus here one whole square k component is what one one whole square okay here phi i bar minus j bar plus k bar divided by under root phi square 25 plus 1 plus 1 okay so how much 25 plus 1 plus 1 so that is n cap equal to phi i bar minus j bar plus k bar by root 27 root 27 okay so here which option is current phi i bar minus j bar plus k bar by root 27 first option is there okay so first option is correct so one question is given okay here about magnitudes of the vectors okay observe on the display so what is the question 
maximum and minimum magnitudes of the resultant of two vectors of magnitudes p and q are found to be in the ratio 3 is to 1 which of the following relation is true which of the following relation is true they are asking okay so we'll see what they given maximum and minimum of the two vectors maximum when we'll get so when theta equal to 0 degrees time maximum will get okay so the time maximum time how much we got p plus q got resultant how much we got resultant r equal to how much we got p plus q we got and minimum when we got resultant r equal to p minus q theta equal to 180 degrees time minimum we got theta equal to 0 degrees time maximum we got okay these values are given p plus q and p minus q ratio given okay maximum to minimum the ratio of maximum to minimum they given so therefore maximum to minimum means maximum to minimum that is p plus q by p minus q is given how much given 3 is to 1 ratio given 3 is to 1 so multiply cross multiply 1 into p plus q is equal to 3 into p minus q okay here p plus q is equal to 3p minus 3q okay so that minus 3q i am bringing this side this p i am sending that side minus 3q i am bringing this side what happened 3q plus q is equal to here 3p minus p so what happened 4q equal to 2p 2 1 ja 2 2 ja therefore p equal to how much 2q so which relation is correct the following option which option is correct okay second option is correct p equal to 2q okay the next question you can observe on the screen okay here the resultant of two vectors 2p and root 2p is root 10p the angle between the forces the angle between the forces here resultant of two vectors okay two forces given 2p and root 2p the given what the given first force you say f1 that is how much 2p and second force f2 is root 2p they are saying and resultant is how much they are saying resultant of these two vectors how much they are saying root 10 p the p is what outside root 10 p okay what they are asking the angle theta is how much okay theta value how much they are asking okay same resultant of the magnitude formula is what r square okay so here say two vectors forces are given f1 square plus f2 square plus 2f1 f2 cos theta you say okay here resultant is given how much given root 10 p and f1 square f1 is how much 2p 2p whole square plus root 2p whole square plus 2 into f1 f1 is 2p and f2 is how much root 2p and cos theta and cos theta here what i am doing squaring on both the sides squaring on both the sides okay root 10 whole square is how much 10 p whole square is p square here root gets cancelled okay now 2p square 2p square is what 4p square plus root 2 is 2 uh, p whole square plus 2 into okay here this 2 is there this root 2 is there how much total 2 2 is a 4 4 root 2 i am taking 4 root 2 okay 4 root 2 p into p p square cos theta p square cos theta okay 10 p square okay is equal to 4 p square plus 2 p square 6 p square is equal to how much already equal to is there na? is equal to 6p square plus 4 root 2 
p square cos theta the 6p square i am bringing this side what happens 10p square minus 6p square 4p square 4p square equal to 4 root 2 p square cos theta okay p square p square gets cancel 4 4 also cancel therefore cos theta equal to how much 1 by root 2 so in cos function when we'll get 1 by root 2 at theta equal to 45 degrees time we'll get theta equal to 45 degrees we'll get okay so therefore theta value okay how much 45 degrees okay now we'll see the previous question last year the je okay how they ask problems so now we'll discuss so on the screen the one question is there last year problem once you check if a bar equal to 2a bar plus 3j bar minus k bar and b bar equal to i bar plus 2j bar plus 2k bar the magnitude of component of vector along vector b will be dash okay. here the two vectors are given so what are the vectors a bar is given 2i bar plus 3j bar minus k bar and b bar is given i bar plus 2j bar i bar plus 2j bar plus 2k bar okay so like these two vectors are given so what they are asking component of a vector a along vector b so your component of vector finding purpose simple formulas are there okay component of vector a bar what they are asking very simple formula component of vector a bar along b bar they are asking along b bar they are asking so here what is the formula a bar dot b bar by along which vector asking b vector asking so that magnitude we have to take sometimes they'll ask like this also component of vector b bar along a bar so that time formula is what a bar dot b bar by a bar mod of a bar we have to take in this along so whatever they are asking along so that one in denominator that magnitude we have to take okay a bar dot b bar by mod of b bar so we will solve a bar dot b bar dot product okay so dot product of vectors similar components we can multiply so 2 into 1 2 plus into plus plus 3 2 ja 6 okay minus into plus minus 1 into 2 2 divided by b component magnitude of b component okay so b vector so 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square okay here minus 2 plus 2 cancel 6 divided by okay 6 divided by 1 square 1 2 square 4 plus 2 square 4 total 6 by how much root 9 root 9 value 3 so 3 1 ja 3 2 ja so therefore answer is what 2 units okay okay another problem okay so in this the four options are given they are asking which option is true they are asking so on the screen you can observe that four options okay here which of the following relation is true for two unit vectors a bar and b bar making an angle theta with each other here four options are given which option is correct so here we can observe in this question we can observe all options are having magnitude of okay addition of vectors and subtraction also there mod of a bar plus b bar is there and at the same time mod of a bar minus b bar also there so with help of that relation we will find the answer okay so here observe here we know that addition of vectors mod of a bar plus b bar what is the formula resultant formula is what under root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta okay 
हियर मॉड ऑफ ए बार माइनस बी बार ए बार माइनस बी बार है जाओ मच अंडर रूट ए स्केर प्लस बी स्केर माइनस टू ए बी कास्टिटा हियर माइनस इज देना माइनस टू ए बी कास्टिटा ओके माइनस टू ए बी कास्टिटा विल टेक ओके हियर वार दे आर सेइंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज रिलेशन इज ट्रू फॉर टू यूनिट वेक्टर्स ए बार एंड बी बार ओके टू यूनिट वेक्टर्स फॉर ए बार एंड बी बार ओके सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दिस वन विल सी हियर यूनिट वेक्टर दे आर सेइंग ओके सो बोथ द मैग्नीट्यूड्स आर इक्वल ओके सो ए इज व्हाट वन वी कैन टेक बी आल्सो वन ओनली वी कैन टेक सो हियर वन स्क्वायर प्लस ओके वन स्क्वायर प्लस टू इनटू वन इनटू वन कॉस थीटा एंड इन दिस आल्सो सेम लाइक दैट ओनली वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर प्लस टू इनटू वन इनटू वन कॉस थीटा हियर माइनस आई बी कॉस नाउ वी लव जर हियर वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर फॉर मॉड ऑफ ए बार प्लस बी बार मॉड ऑफ ए बार प्लस बी बार सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर इज हाउ मच वन प्लस वन टू ओके टू कॉस थीटा एंड ए बार माइनस ओके फर्स्ट वील सॉल्व दिस वन टू कॉमन यू टेक वन प्लस कॉस थीटा टू आई एम टेकिंग कॉमन वन प्लस कॉस थीटा we know that 1 plus cos theta formula 2 cos square theta by 2 2 into 2 cos square theta by 2 2 cos square theta by 2 so here under root 2 cos square 2 into 2 cos square outside what happens this one okay 2 cos theta by 2 2 cos theta by 2 so like that only mod of a bar minus b bar is how much Similar thing, two one square plus one square minus two cos theta. Okay, here you can take common two into one minus cos theta. One minus cos theta value you know that what is the value? Two sin square theta by two. Two sin square theta by two. Here two right outside two sin theta by two. Two sin theta by two. Now We got the relation. Okay, mod of a bar plus b bar. Okay, so here is how much two cos theta by two and mod of a bar minus b bar is two sin theta by two. So what I am taking mod of a bar minus b bar divided by mod of a bar plus b bar. I am taking a bar minus b bar is how much two sin theta by two and mod of A bar plus b bar is two cos theta by two. Two two gets cancelled. Sine by cos is how much? Tan tan theta by two. So therefore, mod of a bar minus b bar is equal to how much? How much a bar minus b bar equal to? So according to the options, okay, mod of a bar plus b bar. This one I am sending this end into tan. Theta by two into tan theta by two is the answer. Okay, which option is correct? Okay, in that so you can observe second option is correct. Okay, in similar one in two thousand twenty one asked. Okay, similar thing. So once you check on the screen, two vectors x and y equal vectors have equal vectors magnitudes. The magnitudes of x minus y is n times. The magnitude of x plus y. Then the angle between x and y. They are asking. Okay. So here, similar question asked. The magnitude of x minus y is equal to n times the x plus y. They are asking. Then angle between x and y is how much they are asking. So just now we did the similar one. So x minus y. Okay. X minus y means what? Here also, what they are saying in this also, so both are equal magnitudes. Equal magnitude means directly I am substituting why because previous question similar only. So that time, what is the formula? Two 
sin theta by 2 otherwise under root what we got what we got under root 2 into 1 minus cos theta we got here n into here addition addition time how much we got under root 2 into 1 plus cos theta we got 1 minus cos theta here yeah? 1 plus cos theta squaring on both the sides squaring on both the sides okay here what happened both the sides squares cancel but here n is there n purpose whole square will come 2 into 1 minus cos theta is equal to here to n square root is not there so that is why square will come into 2 into 1 plus cos theta okay so here both the sides 2 2 gets cancel 1 minus cos theta equal to what n square into 1 n square plus n square cos theta okay n square cos theta so now what i am doing this minus cos theta i am sending the side it becomes plus cos theta otherwise n square cos theta i am bringing this side okay so what happened here already 1 okay minus cos theta minus n square cos theta is equal to this n square minus 1 here cos theta I am taking common. So what happens? Cos theta taking common time minus 1 minus n square is equal to n square minus 1. n square minus 1. Okay. n square minus 1. Therefore cos theta equal to n square minus 1 by minus 1 minus n square. Otherwise minus n square minus 1. So which option is correct? So you can check the second option cos theta equal to n square minus 1 by minus n square minus 1. So like this previous problems. So they asked in the JE and NEET exam also. Okay. Here part 3. The most important topic projectile. So projectile topic is there in part 3. So don't miss that class. Okay. Most important class. Okay. If you understand this class, please like this video and share to your friends so that may help to your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.